Um, I've been playing role-playing games for 20 years or so at this point. Um, I started with a second edition player's handbook. Uh, very soon after uh, being involved with uh, uh, a number of different D&D groups, I got into like Shadowrun and Rifts. Um, and very quickly, as soon as I started playing, I, I quickly ended up uh, GMing. And, uh, and so that quickly, quickly led me into game design, uh, obviously at an amateur level at that point in time. So, uh, and uh, I've been involved in the industry itself for uh, since 2008, uh, helping design uh, with Ventureland games, d design and develop with Ventureland games. NGS is different because it's so easy and uh, to get into, and it's so fast to make characters, to make settings, uh, and to be in character. Um, rather than making uh, all the mechanical decisions and all of the um, uh, like trying to figure out who you are, who you are is what you do at the beginning for the game, and that then governs every, governs everything else, and so. Um, I just love how uh, how you can just be immediately immersed in the character and in the history of your character and potential relationships with other characters from the outset, and that's built into the actual character creation rather than um, it being siloed away and having to be added on to the character creation process. Uh, my role with NGS um, and with Venture Land Games in general is as lead developer, primarily. Um, I'm I'm on the design team, uh, uh, so I'm I'm in the room with all of the decision making process uh, regarding uh, from the design standpoint as we formulate and kind of shape things. Uh, but I really kind of take front and center as lead developer. Um, I uh, and with our other games, it's been a little bit more significant because there's been more to develop, um, particularly with regard to the like a balancing. Of the, of the system and numbers and stuff like that. And with like Legacy, which is one of our other products, uh, balancing the numbers and the power level is more um, significant. Uh, with NGS, that hasn't been as big of a deal because so much of that is in the hands of both the players and the GMs to really set that tone uh, that there's uh, uh, a very small number system that needs to be dealt with. So, I like most of the settings uh, that we have. Um, most of them are interesting. Uh, the it's twofold. I don't the fa the setting that I want to see um, that I don't know that it's gonna, actually going to make it in is this kind of Victorian era setting of like the, where the main tension between the various uh, in society is between men and women and there's this like steampunk technology versus like alchemy like magic and it's like it's like this gender division stuff. Um, but I don't think that's probably going to make it into the book. Um, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> I hate story-based RPGs. I do. Um, I am, uh, by definition, this comes even with who I am as a gamer. Like, I gravitate towards mechanic-y, crunchy, like, uh, like, like, D&D &D has always been a playground for me of finding abilities, or Rifts was too, of, like, putting things together and making things mechanically work uh, and so this, this type of narrative play is something that is foreign and alien and generally completely uninteresting to me. But with NGS, I, I actually want to play it. Uh, and it's something that is engaging. And it is something that's grabbed my attention. Um, and uh, it takes a lot for a game to do that. And so uh, I, I really think that we have a good product with NGS.